And as reactions to this outcome of the presidential elections in the U.S. are pouring in, we saw many, many chiefs of staff and chief of state, you know, heads of state that were reacting to this. But let's hear from someone, from one head of state that had something to say regarding this. It is a golden opportunity for this historic return of Donald Trump to put an end to wars, not to open any more war fronts, to allow U.S. to have respectful relations, sensible dialogue, understanding with all of Latin America and the Caribbean, relations that respect diversity in our continent. We have always been willing since Comandante Chavez, the Bolivarian Revolution, has seen former President Bill Clinton and former President George W. Bush pass through the White House. Eight years to the former president, Barack Obama the first, four years of the president, elect Donald Trump four years, of President Joe Biden, and we have always been Delcy, you know it, Celia, you know it. I know it to me as Foreign Minister of Chavez in 2006. We have always been willing to relations of dialogue, sensibility, understanding, respect. And I ratify to the United States of America, to all the society that the way has to be. The new relations of respect, sensibility, dialogue and understanding. And those were the words of the president of the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela, Nicolás Maduro Moros, who had, uh, you know, a special show today. And he was addressing the outcome of the U.S. elections. And it is so interesting because when he was the, win, the winner back in July 28th, uh, you know, one of the many heads of state and one of the many governments that tried to dismiss, to try to smear this uh, victory was the president of the United States, Joseph Biden. And also, he was disrespecting the system and the voting system here in Venezuela. And it is primordial to recall that because in this occasion, the president, Nicolás Maduro Moros, is just respecting and giving his stance and his position regarding this victory. And he was saying something very interesting, and is that Trump has the opportunity to close all the open wars that started under the Democrats and also the conflicts, the aggression, the hostilities towards Latin American progressive countries.